All right, guys. Welcome back to Half Fast Seven One Nine. Um, what I got going on today is, while I was down here doing the exhaust, I noticed some wet spots. So, looks like this uh, seal might be leaking. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check my uh, whatever this is called transfer case fluid level and if it's good it's good if it's good I'll drain it if it's not good I'll drain it um oh, that's not gonna work um anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this I probably should go get a drain pan <laughs> but I'm too lazy right now because I've been doing too much already this morning um, anyway, how about I tell you? I am using the Ulsa Tools, uh, Allen wrenches. Pretty nice set of Allen wrenches. Nice set of Allen wrenches. Um, they got these weird little teeth. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's a weird shaped. Weird shape to them. Anyway, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to change this fluid because uh, I don't know when it's been done. And it is just ATF fluid or ATF plus four. So uh, yeah, before I pour it all out, I'm going to go get a drain pan. And i got to figure out which, which one it is, which transfer case this is. So, uh, just clean this up real quick because there's a couple different transfer cases for these trucks. And uh, yeah, so it's an MP, I guess, 273 D. Um, ratio 272, serial number 04, some, some 2010. So, I guess the serial number is the date. 410 of 2010 2. Oh, that's the serial number up there. So it's a 273D, I believe, is the model number. So I'm going to look that up and see how many quarts it, ha it takes. I believe they only take maximum two quarts. So let me go get a drain pan and I'm going to put a funnel in here because this is your drain here. And as you can see, it doesn't exactly line up with this hole. So there's the hole, and there's the drain plug. So um, I'm gonna stick a funnel in here to drain into a pan if anything even comes out. I'm hoping stuff comes out. So oh, oh. let me uh, let me go get a drain pan real quick and some fluid. I got a lot of ATF plus four. So and then look up the model. So I will be I'll be back. All right, guys. It's gonna do something, but change my mind. So, um, ooh, that basket's really getting on my nerves. You're kicking this stupid thing. Anyway, um, yeah. So my brother ended up sending me something from All Data, which shows here that a NV two seventy three takes one point nine liters. So. And it is Mopar ATF Plus 4 automatic transmission NV246 transfer case only takes takes whatever that is uh, Mopar part number transfer case lubricant um, so that one takes that transfer case capacities um, they take ATF plus four, 1.9 liters. So roughly two quarts. So I got two quarts here. Um, two quarts did not come out. I want to say about about a quart and a quarter maybe came out. Oh. So as you can see, it's supposed to be ATF. Do not use impact wrench. Right there, do not use impact wrench 
on fill or drain plugs. So that says it down there again. Um. Anyway, uh, yeah. So as you could see that it's pretty burnt. The fluid that was in there is pretty burnt up. Um, it was very black that came out. So I'm just collecting the drips in this. Um, but yeah. Um, anyway, so I'll probably have to get a new seal here. Because as you can see, as I showed earlier, this is all wet. So I'll probably have to get a new seal. You can see the slippy oak shit uh, wet. And then uh, just drop the drive shaft. I don't know, maybe take it out of the rear. Looks like the speed sensor in the rear is leaking too. Probably need an O-ring. It's my shinny. My shinny exhaust, my muffler. Um, but yeah. So I'm just going to let this collect. And then uh, i got to build a apparatus to uh, add some fluid in there. So, anyway, oh, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but yeah, so, turn up. Anyway, um, yeah, let me uh, do all that. I'm going to do some research, see if I can do some additive or something in there. Maybe some synchro mesh or something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go from there. And while that's draining, I'm gonna let it drain as much as I can. I'm gonna clean all these tools, put everything away, because uh, I don't wanna have to come back and have to work on a car or do something. Because when I come back, I'm gonna have the fuel filter, the cat filter, and I'm gonna have the air filter kit to do. And uh, I don't wanna be messing around with a bunch of tools, so. And then when I come back, because I probably won't have time today. I'm going to do all the brakes on the Audi. So, anyway. Uh, yeah, let me do all that. Finish that. Check some stuff out. And uh, I'll show you guys what that old fluid looks like once I catch enough in that uh, water bottle. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so. Got this much fluid. As you can see, it's pretty... Pretty nasty compared to new stuff. So this is what was in there. And that's what I just put in there. So as you can see, stuff's pretty clean. So anyway, just wanted to add that. So that's so if you think you're doing a tranny service, you gotta remember that the transfer case is different than your uh, transmission. So I do need to do a tranny service. Um, the guy said that the transmission was just done. And uh, yeah, so anyway, let me get down there, button it all up, add the fluid. I'll be back. All right guys, this is what I'm using. Just drill the hole in the lid, put this little, uh, I don't know, gnarled fitting in here. Basically it's a pipe fitting, compression fitting. So I don't know where I got it from, but it's in my drawer. So I'm going to use it. So basically I'm just going to take this, stick it under there drain this quart and then uh, stick this lid on the next quart so let's see let's see how it does let's see what kind of mess we can make oh jeez so I'll see if I can't set you guys somewhere up in here just like that and kind of mess we can make a seed, a seed, a seed. So I'm just going to come in here, Let's squirt it out, squirt it out. Uh, 
So I'm just squeezing the tube, or squeezing the, the quart, I guess you could call it. So, I'll let it fill it there, squeeze a little more. They say in the manual to get three quarts because whatever, some pump thing. The pump takes like a half a quart or something. But I am using the tried and true redneck method of redneck engineering. So, yeah, it's all going in, so, I'm golden. So, yeah, I'm just using the ATF Plus 4 tranny fluid. I was reading that they kind of cannot market it as ATF Plus 4. Unless it's from the exact same manufacturer, because the manufacturer is called ATF Plus 4, apparently. So, using Walmart brand, Super Tech. So that's one quart. Like nothing. So no mess. So I'm just gonna unscrew the cap and get me my other bottle and add that other quart. So one quart is empty. Oh wait. Probably should have planned this a little better as usual. We're planning. So, take the cap off. Punching a hole in this junk. Getting all this off. I can know you can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. So, screwing the cap on. So, again, no mess yet. Damn, my neck's hurting. Anyway, boring video. Yeah, boring video. Pretty dope. Pretty dope, boring video. I tried using some clear tubing, but it wouldn't fit over the barb fitting. So, I'd use the black, and all it is is just windshield washer hose on there. So, I'm probably pulling some out. There you go. Because I am almost full. So I'm gonna, just going to put both of these quarts in there because they're 946 milliliters. So, oh, it's hard. I'm just glad it's not gear oil. Because if it was gear oil, no thanks. So that's... That's two quarts. And you can see I'm probably full because it's starting to come out. So let's see. Clean finger. 
in. Dab it. We've got fluid in there. We got a lot of fluid, but not too much. So we're good. So the fill plug is clean. Taking this fill plug and gonna screw it in. You don't want to go too tight. I don't know what the torque is on it. I didn't look it up. But I'm just going to where it's not too tight because if you do it too tight you can split this case. Because I believe this is a NPT threads. NPT uh, National Pipe Threading. So it's kind of has a flare to it. Um, but anyway they also recommend doing uh, some Teflon tape on here because it is pipe thread however I'm not doing that I'm just gonna snug it in just like that and that is it that is a transfer case transmission fluid service so uh, anyway alright guys my neck's hurting I'm gonna go thanks for watching Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Thank you guys. Later.